Hello everyone, in this lecture, we will study about mixed signal layout issues under the heading basic concept. Let's begin. As we all know, it's been natural that analog ICs are more sensitive to noise than digital ICs. Thus, for any analog design that we want to be successful, Careful attention must be made to layout issues, particularly in a digital environment. And before carrying out any design, we should protect our sensitive analog nodes. They should be shielded from any potential noise sources. While the grounding and power supply routing must also be considered when we are using the digital and analog circuitry on the same substrate. Since the majority of ADCs uses switches which are controlled by digital signals. So separate routing channels must be provided for each type of signals. Okay, so we have modeled a mixed signal layout strategies in this figure. Okay, so this lowest issue that is the flow for planning is foundation and must be carried or we can say it should be considered before each succeeding step. Whereas the successful mixed signal design, which always minimize the effect of digital switching on the analog circuitry. Okay, so if we uh, talk about its mixed signal layout strategy, then first is system level, then there is device level, and then interconnect level. These two levels should be considered while designing any layout. Okay, the first is foundational uh, layout is floor planning, okay, which should be considered first. Then there is power supply and grounding issue, which is critical if, uh, when we are talking about the noise issue. Then there is fluid differential design and matching. Then over above this, there is guard rings and shielding, which should be carefully considered when using digital and analog circuitry on the same substrate. And this last is the interconnect consideration. Okay, now what is this floor planning? The placement of sensitive analog component can greatly affect this circuit performance. This analog circuitry should be categorized by the sensitivity of the analog signal to noise. Okay, so you can see how we have carried out the mixed signal floor plan in this output driver. Okay, this is the digital side and this is the analog side. This output driver consists of output buffers which drive capacitive load and they are kept farthest from this sensitive analog. Okay, you can see over here, this sensitive analog consists of low level signal or we can say high impedance which is associated with input signal. Okay, this sensitive analog. While this low speed digital are least offensive digital circuitry which does not create that much noise where this high swing and analog are comparator and output buffer amplifier which are least sensitive to analog circuitry. So they both are less susceptible to noise so they can be placed together the high swing analog and low speed digital. Okay so this is the example of a mixed signal flow plan which can be carried out before the layout. Then the second issue is the power supply and grounding issue. When analog and digital circuits both are existing on the same diode, then there is a danger exists of injecting noise from the digital system to the sensitive analog circuitry through the power supply and ground connection. Okay, so since digital circuit is typified by high amount of transient current due to switching and the small amount of resistance which is associated with interconnect to pad can result in significant voltage spike. Okay, as well as low level analog signals are very sensitive to such interference, which result in contaminated voltage spike. Another significant voltage spike can occur due to the inductance of the holding wire. You can see in this example, you can see in this example that we have used the pad resistance and inductance, both the sides same for analog circuitry and digital circuitry. They can introduce voltage spikes in this circuitry so we have kept this resistance 
different okay for the analog circuitry as well as for digital circuitry but this inductance of the bonding wire can also introduce error or i can say noise in this circuitry so what we have done we have kept all these things that is the inductance pad and resistance for both analog circuitry as well as digital circuitry different but it is not wise to use separate power supply because if both type of circuits are not powered up simultaneously then latch up that is delay could re- easily result okay so all these consideration should be considered first before any layout while designing analog and digital circuitry okay this is all about this mixed signal layout issue now while designing fully differential design the noise which represent the the noise sources which represent the noise from any digital circuitry which is coupled through a parasitic straight capacitor okay so we all know that if equal amount of noise are injected in, into the differential amplifier then this common mode rejection which is inherent in the amplifier will eliminate most or all of the noise okay because as we carry out the difference then this equal amount of noise will cancel out each other this of course depend on the symmetry of the amplifier meaning that matching the transistor in the amplifier become crucial therefore in a mixed signal environment layout technique should be used to improve matching such as common centroid or interdigited techniques okay the next uh, issue is guard ring circuits that process sensitive signal should be placed in a separate well if possible with guard ring attached to the analog vdd supply and in the case of n well process the n type devices outside the well should have guard ring which is attached to and again the analog ground which is placed to around them and digital circuitry should be placed in their own well with guard ring attached to digital vdd so this should be kept in mind always while designing sensitive signal should be placed in a separate well and attached to the guard the rings next point is shielding a number of technique exist which can shield sensitive low level analog signal from noise resulting from digital switching a shield can take the form of a layer tied to analog ground placed between two other layer and it can be act as a barrier between two signals running in parallel you can see over here the metal one shield which is sized to analog ground then this is the digital signal which is cap okay or this is the toffee or we can see this cross section that right? uh, this insulator is kept this is polysilicon then metal layer is kept then insulator and then smoothed so this shows a shielding of a sensitive analog signal from a digital signal cross over using a metal one shield okay here another using a dummy metal strip to provide shielding between two parallel signal okay here is a dummy metal strip is cap which providing a shield between these two parallel signal one is going to analog circuitry and another one is going to digital circuitry now again another point is taken that is the other interconnect consideration which should be taken that is some layout strategies will incrementally improve the performance of the analog circuitry that is when we are routing any analog circuitry minimize the length of current carrying path because they are very sensitive to noise second point is that vias or contacts should also be used very liberally okay whenever changing layers whenever we are changing layers then contacts or vias should be used more frequently at all possible paths and third is that avoid using this polysilicon to route current carrying signal paths because this poly is higher in resistance okay so this is all about the mixed signal design issue mixed signal analog issues we have considered them in the next lecture we will start with oscillators thank you